The deadly Titan accident in the North Atlantic has raised a lot of questions about the craft's carbon fiber hull that failed under 13,000 feet of ocean water. 11 Lives' Doug Richard spoke with an engineer and carbon fiber manufacturer today in Paulding County about its strengths and weaknesses. Carbon fiber is at the core of this aerospace engineering and manufacturing facility in Paulding County. This is a, a liner that goes inside a, a turbine engine. Greg Kress is the company's co-founder, an engineer and instructor, and a big believer in composites, like those used to build commercial aircraft and used for the hull of the doomed Titan submersible. The nice thing about composites is, is they are the latest, greatest space age material and carbon fiber leading the pack. Inside here is, is the walk-in freezer. Kress says it starts with a fibrous cloth stored in a freezer. This is carbon fiber right here. Here's a roll of carbon fiber sealed in the bag. The cloth is bound with resin and superheated in a two-story tall oven, yielding material that's strong and aerodynamic. The Boeing 787 Dreamliner is all made out of carbon fiber. Like if you just scratch this or hit it or something like that. But Kress says it also requires rigorous inspection. Any kind of a scratch, a nick or a gouge or a hole is going to cause a stress concentration. Especially if it's going to be used under hundreds of feet of water with people inside of it. It's not what we consider rocket science to inspect it. It's non-destructive inspection using ultrasound, which is the same kind of ultrasound that they use in the medical industry to see what's going on inside your body. Kress estimates an ultrasound inspection of the Titan would have cost about $20,000. Cost effective, he says, especially if passengers are paying hundreds of thousands of dollars for a ride to the bottom of the sea. Non-destructive inspection is not a rarity in the world of composites. It's what we do all the time. Kress says carbon fiber has proven its value as a space age building material. The Titan accident, he says, has proven the value of testing it rigorously. In Paulding County, Doug Richards, 11 Alive News.